Hi, boys and girls. It is week eight. Last week, to refresh your memory, we started working on the vowel team E-A. We worked on the eat ending and the eek ending. We had eat, beat, and seat. So we just added the T on to the vowel team E-A. Remember that E says E, the A is silent next to it. Same thing here, E-A says E, as, and then we add the K, eek, as in beak and peak. This week, we're adding the eed and the een words. For example, r on eed is read. B on eed is bead. The next one, we have bean, not as in Mrs. Bean, because that's a capital B, and I have another E at the end here. This is in the veggie bean, like a green bean, a lima bean. The next one is mean, as in when someone is not acting kind. Okay, good job. And we're not finished with that yet. That to the side. Today we will be reading Home Sweet Home. What I love about this book, boys and girls, it has three long vowel words. We have silent E that touches the O to make the O say its name. We have the double E that says E, and then we have the same word here, so we're just doubling the word home. Our characters are all animals. Hen likes her house, but she wants to add some color. And she goes out and purchases some different paint. Her cow friend comes along, decides to help as Hen goes to get the letter. Along comes Pig. Pig decides to help as well. And Duck. All these helping friends. And then Hen comes back with a ladder and sees how helpful Hen's friends are being. And then look at her house at the very end. Okay. I'm gonna go back to the front. Home Sweet Home by Marianne Dobeck. So the by Marianne Doback means that is the writer, the person who wrote the story. And the illustrator is the person who drew, painted, colored the pictures. Okay. I'm going to use this today, boys and girls. I'm still trying to find the right fit. It's kind of awkward reading it this way. So Mrs. Bean is going to hopefully see that her hand is not in the way so you're going to try to scoop these words as I pull the sheet down. Hen had a nice white house. Boys and girls, notice the word nice. That C does not say its usual sound. We had to try out the other sound because hen had a nice white house would not make sense. So we have to switch it to this, the soft C sound. She liked her house, but she wanted a new color for her house. I will paint my house red, thought Hen. So there's those thinking little bubbles. Along came Cow. Hello, Hen. Do you want to play with me? Not today, said Hen. I'm going to paint my house. I will help you, said Cow. We need a ladder, said Hen. I will go find one. You wait here. Cow waited and waited. She got tired of waiting. So Cow grabbed a can of paint. This paint is as blue as the sky, said Cow. Blue is a good 
color for a house. I will use this bright blue paint. And she did. Boys and girls, that word bright is tricky, but that I-G-H actually says I together. So it's brr, I, and then the T at the end. A long came pig. Look at all the paint cans, pig said. Hen must be painting her house. I can help her. Pig grabbed a can of paint. This paint is as yellow as the sun, said Pig. Yellow is a nice color for a house. I will use this yellow paint. And he did. Along came Duck. Hen has lots of paint, said Duck. She must be painting her house. I will help her. Duck grabbed a paint can. This paint is as green as the grass, said Duck. Green is a fine color for a house. I will use this green paint. And he did. Along came Hen with a tall ladder. Hello, Hen, said Cow. Look at your bright blue house. Hi, Hen, said Pig. Look at your bright yellow house. Oh, goodness. Good morning, Hen, said Duck. Look at your bright green house. Oh, no, said Hen. She looked at her house. Then Hen smiled. My house is as bright as a rainbow, said Hen. But it needs a red door. I'll paint this door as red as a rose. And she dead. That is quite a colorful house, boys and girls, isn't it? What I would like you to do is when you go back and reread this book, try and find either a few vowel teams or a few silent E long vowel words and report maybe three of them back to me. That's one thing. The second thing is, please tell me the characters in this story and how they act like people. What they do that makes them act like people throughout this story that real animals could not do. Maybe give me two examples of that, of, of animals acting as if they're people. Then, please tell me the happy ending, and why you think maybe Hen is a good sport. Okay, boys and girls, see you soon.